Hey YouTube, it's Aldon, and welcome to, uh, this should be episode 4 of my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play, and with me today is... Uh, etc. I'm etc. And that's all that we're going to have this week. And if anyone else wants to be a host sometime later, let's see, auto save one, there we go. If you want to be a host, you can just uh, send me a message on YouTube or Twitter or something, and all you need to ha you need to have played Mass Effect 2, or watched like all my videos, and know me in some capacity, and that should be fine. So just send me a message, and we'll talk about it. Anyways, last time, we finished Freedom's Progress, and we got in the Normandy, so yay! Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, man. Okay, we can do that. So, I believe we already have our uh, missions to go recruit some people. We're going to be doing that very shortly. First, I want to go talk to Joker. Wait, have we done the Tim cutscene already? I don't yeah, we did. The first one. Can you believe this? Well, yeah, right, it's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. <laughs> and leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. I like Joker. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Yeah, uh, well, seamless improvements were made. Sure, he's just talking about seats, so. Yeah. That's I'm not good exactly one. amazed, but. Beautiful and yeah, I just like Joker. She's got this thing. And the. Yeah, he's, about. It's like ship cancer. Yeah. He's pretty fun. It's not the same Joker. There's nothing here Although that he doesn't like part of the real just points off him. Well, There's he will us. eventually, it's fine. He will eventually, he just does two years suck. Yeah, the interplay between You'll the see. two of them is Even pretty interesting. AI is spying on us, and it gets no more interesting in the third game. Yeah, I heard. I hope so. I die. such a downer. Good Joker. Okay. Now, either way, we're going to the same place. But, let's see here. Squad. Oh, look, more upgrades. I'll take care of that later. Uh, journal. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, Zaid. I have his DLC. Mm, let's not do that. So, right now we have the Convict, Archangel, the Warlord, and the Professor. And two of these are on the same place, Omega. And then the other two are in other random places. So I think we're going to Omega first. Okay, so you're going to start at the beginning. Yeah, start at, start at the more awesome people. Start at the people you're supposed to start with. Yeah. Since it recommends you go to one and the other one is a uh, spoiler. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. It's right here, too. Technically, three yeah, of them I, are there. I just love the conveniently located. Well, yeah, they obviously want you to go here first. So, it looks kind of like a giant rock jellyfish or something right now. Yep. Or like one of those things from the scrubbing bubbles that is except evil. <laughs> so red. Fancy red lights. Hmm. So, uh, do you want to do Archangel or the, s the Professor first? Um, I think Morden's more fun. Okay, we'll do him first. Loading screens. Biotic barriers are vulnerable to rep. Blah, 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 blah. Technically, we're going to get Zaid first, but whatever. Because he's, like, right there. I need to get the other DLCs. That's, those are the only ones I have are the ones that came free with... Um, let's see here came free with uh, the Cerberus network. Yeah, I've never bothered doing any DLC content. Yeah. Project $10. Yeah, see, I tend not to buy DLC. So usually ah, I either wait for the Game of the Year edition or I just here, don't bother. I can always yeah. Well, well, I want to for this because it's pretty. most of it's pretty uh, significant for Mass Effect 3. I was just... Especially a rival. No. Yeah, it's it's so hard to tell if you're new when you just Whatever walked off the spaceship. Yeah. Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. And everyone knows who you are. Of course. Which isn't saying much considering you came in a weird spaceship with Normandy written in giant letters on the hull. Yeah. wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to after. Yeah, no, a ship marked Normandy. It looks like the Normandy isn't actually so at all. Nope. 
then you better get ready. To mention one no that drives like keeps Arya yeah. yeah. So this one, Afterlife. so he's trying to introduce now. like the main boss person here. So we get to go to Afterlife. Well, still though, I'm just not impressed by how he's trying to intimidate us by, you know, knowing the face of probably one of the most famous people in the galaxy. Yeah. Well, it has been a couple of years now. Well, still though, there yeah. must have been some propaganda in the intervening time. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually commercials with his voice on the Citadel, which we will see, if I recall. And there's a there's an AI. No one said you could talk, jackass. And there's a punching. Yep. Not a reporter, but not bad. Yeah, but we aren't doing it. Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I we have a galaxy to see. So does he just have two different colored eyes, or do they have problems? Okay, I don't really care about Zaid, so go ahead I'm just gonna get rid of him. Go away. Right, I'll go make myself at home. <laughs> <laughs> So did uh, Cerberus sign him up already, or what? Yeah, I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. What kind of arrangement? Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. I actually like his mission, but we'll do it later sometime. You heard the name Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole I don't know, if the elusive man likes him, he's bound to be a rogue cell or something. Yeah. That joke's gonna get so old. It isn't already? That's we'll a good point. We can. It's not to Our us. I mean, it's not to the I know Our videos. Like Zaid, why are you talking so much? Just go possible. away. I want to go talk to Morden. And you shot him. I better not that far behind. Man, shooting an armed prisoner is just the done. best way to introduce a new crewman. Yeah, especially when they're just jerks like that. Defining character moments. Defining okay. character moment, shooting a fleeing unarmed prisoner. Yep. yep. Come on, let me Loving in. this guy. And I just skipped the line. Annoyed. It would be nice if he had some kind of reason to be shooting at a prisoner. Yeah, because it doesn't say who he is. It's just, I think that was the, uh, his title of the subtitles, which is Prisoner. No idea who he is. Yeah, so. he's, he's just there to be beaten up by Zaid. Yeah, so far. Um, okay. Big giant glowing pink thing in the middle. Yeah, everyone loves a big pink thing. So here's the beginning of the Archangel mission, but we'll do that later. We can go talk to Arya first. That's close enough. So part of this conversation was in a lot of the uh, commercials and stuff for the game, kind of showing how it was like darker and stuff than Mass Effect 1, supposedly. It certainly looks a lot pinker as well. Yep. If you're looking for weapons, you're not um, doing a very good job. You can't be too careful with dead specters. Honestly, I, I don't know what. Your face. It's darker because it's in a bar, and yeah. someone is threatening you. That's yep. not really. Depends on the question. Mass Effect 2 has some issues with theme. <laughs> and uh, another voice actor. Uh, Arya here is Carrie Ann Moss, better known as Trinity, from The Matrix. I must admit that's not bad. Although but I've cut the sound off at the moment. Everyone needs more something, <laughs> and they all come to me. Oh. I'm the boss, CEO, queen. If you're feeling dramatic, it doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler, and oh, only. I can tell from the lines that she's probably move. chewing on the scenery right now. A little bit, just a little bit. Doing, that's not always a bad thing, though. Don't fuck. And well, then I there's that. Let's take her seriously, then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that might like be even funnier like being in jerked around. <laughs> and on your ship, that would matter. It should be like in capital letters Here, we and entertain my like stars around it. Cause like, hey, we have language. We're darker and edgier. Yeah, you know, maybe so, after she says it, the guard should be just. Going, ooh, she I'm said for fuck. Morton's soul. <laughs> you know where I can find him? The Solarian oh, snap. doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. Oh, Morton. Always, always being a doctor. He's a I always like Morton, to too. Kill you as he is to shoot you. <laughs> What's Harriet's you look. Don't fuck with her, but if you need to use her as a phone book, go ahead. <laughs> He's brilliant. 
and dangerous. Aren't most Just brilliant people talk. dangerous? And why would I be getting someone that's not dangerous? Really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. Uh, maybe to feed the no fish. Guarantee they'll let you in, of course. <laughs> they'll let me in. I'm Shepard. You and half of Omega. That is you pretty much what they to? say. I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. Like I don't have enemies That's already. Assuming you can get to him. Yeah, Shepard is not that experiencing is enemy shortage. The local all. merc groups have joined forces <coughs> to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. I do like the Archangel mission. Actually, with a gun to help them. sounds but like we'll do more than first. Take it in. They're using a private room for recruiting. I mean, the Archangel mission is interesting, but it. I'm sure they'll sign you up. If memory serves, there was a lot more fighting. Um, with a lot less plot beyond the one big reveal. Yeah. Which merc groups are after us? So it probably wouldn't Blue be as Sun, interesting to talk. Blood yeah, Pack. we'll see. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other. Okay, so these mercenary groups are gonna be irritating see, jerks pretty much the entire way. way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're they're pretty much the main like enemies throughout the entire to... game. You've got all the time in the You fight world. more mercs than anything else combined. Not so much. And of course, no one ever thinks to stop signing up when Shepard's plowing through them. Yeah. By the, by the dozen. But I'm. I, they're galaxy wide. There's probably like thousands of them. Whatever. Okay, Morden's over here. Oh yeah, but still, you know, when you get Captain Shepard going genocidal on your minds. Yeah, right? Commander Shepard just. You think they'd all be leaving? Wait, why do you have a name? What are you looking at? The man who's damn This person is not name. important at all. I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Oh, right. Maybe you He's better get out of here before I find you. Yep. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I've got stuff. To Red do text, take warning. Come on, let's get out of here. I think the Everybody only reason he's there. Points. Yeah, I think the only reason he's there is to farm points off of. <laughs> uh, maybe it's another bit of dark and edgy. Yep. You know, ooh, you yelled at someone outside of the bar. Well, you can do the Paragon option too. Come on. I guess it's to show how the Paragon Renegade option works, I guess? Okay. Um... I'm trying to remember which way to go. I think it was, uh, to the right of the, uh, of the bar door. Yeah, we'll see. Where's the map? There it is. Okay, um... Yeah. Wow. Okay, there, there we go. I, I found it. You can't hear it, but there's music in the background from the bar. It's like it's the main thing, and then there's this random dialogue going on. Yeah. There's Mastic... and there's yeah. I've, I've heard this oh, here's this mad prophet that doesn't actually do anything. He's just talking about humans suck. So we'll we'll ignore him. We'll find some side quests later. Now to go find Morden. Complaining is pointless, human. There's. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague What's has the thing whole on zone head? quarantine. Mm. Nobody gets in. It's I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff I out suppose. before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. But yes, yeah, he's supposed Nobody to be a gets guard. In until the plague has run its course. Yeah, well, it is a, like, black. It's like mercenaries and stuff like that. Black market I mean, and things like that. He does just look like a merc, but There's he doesn't look named Morton Soul even remotely. Soul. Actually, I've get in there to I find don't think him. there are any officials in the doctor, Omega. Who is he no. anyways? <laughs> the the That's a good point. Who, who is he yeah, working for? He I mean, Arya is like the biggest, the closest thing they have to a play. boss. Well, but if you worked for Arya, then Arya would just the say, let him in. Yeah. Or I will not tell the guard to let you in. Okay, so the... No guarantee. So the point here is that there's a, a guard look. and there's a plague going on in the quarantine zone, like which is where a lot of the people uh, work. No, that's right. <laughs> no, I'm and the plague here. affects everybody looters, except for humans. Anybody gets in my wish, yeah. I'll kill them too. It means they all think we're jerks. I'll yeah. Call the guards. They'll let you in with I'm trying to remember if we figure out who started the plague, and them? I don't remember. You son figure of a bitch. You don't have a I like that line. Lady. Get lost. Yeah, the this guard is very one. concerned that Shepard might be a looter, but are immune to the plague. you've got a grenade happens, launcher. The guard would be right. Yep, and that Shepard gets lampshaded. Takes pretty much everything not nailed down. Yep. Here are the galaxy giant kleptomaniac. You'd think you'd have some better way of getting paid. 
standard RPGs. It, 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 that's how they work. We're fine. To be fair, you can't actually pick up stuff, just credits. Sorry, Zaid. I don't like you. And I don't have any new weapons, just shut up and look. Why do I have to do that again? Please. I don't like Zaid, but Miranda over Zaid? <laughs> Is he that big of a jerk? Pretty much, yeah. Ouch. Well, he said he was the leader of the Blue Suns or whatever. Or maybe that's a spoiler, I don't know. He was leader of one of the Merc don't groups, and he shows it. Hello, Tarion. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a jerk. Plus, he's just boring. Miranda at least isn't that boring. Most of the time. Uh, Yay, credits. Boring. Jacob's boring. Good luck in there. Blue suns and vultures shooting anything that moves. So I get to shoot stuff, yay. La di da. It's boring. Miranda's a Mary Sue. We're just shotted. A different flavor of boring, but it's not less boring. Ah, shoot. I need to change hey, my hockey. Hey, did you mention the blue suns? Yeah, I did. Now we get to meet them. Hi, blue suns. And I get to shoot some stuff, gotcha. which is fun. Come on. Oh, I just realized I'm just using the pistol because that's what I happen to be using. And Jacob died. And I can't aim. Guess they just left the dead in the streets. Burning corpses. Must be trying no, to I don't want the grenade spreading. launcher. There we go. Oh look. Okay, uh, bank terminal. Hack. So I can just randomly hack a bank terminal. That makes perfect sense. Um... So this minigame is just irritating. I mentioned that last time. But we just get to shoot lots of stuff here. Yeah, I'm not sure why you would switch to this from the rotary minigame thing from Mass Effect 1. I guess people didn't like it so they're like, let's have a different minigame. Anyways. Oh, but so this one is not better. <laughs> yeah. Different is not better. Should have guessed. <laughs> so this is vaguely interesting. So, like we mentioned earlier, everyone's blaming the humans for the plague because they don't get sick. So he's not very happy. Humans didn't create this plague. Yeah, what you can do with him as a renegade. Just leave him, I guess. I don't know. That doesn't seem renegadey enough. No, then I just shoot him and put him out of his misery, I guess. That sounds more like it. I don't think you do, though. Obviously, the Vorcha did it. Yes, that makes perfect sense. What? I just had this option. What the heck? I need to find more. I could just say it again. Humans looking for the human Let's see if he dies if we keep it going. I hope the Vorcha burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I don't think they're that smart. I hope you. I hope. Damn it! Damn you! Can't. Okay, it's a option like that. Okay, he just dies if you don't give him the meta gel right there. Okay. I doubt he could have helped us anyway. Let's move. Oh, you callous. Of course, I didn't help either, so. La -de -da. So this this place, let's just look at the, um, the way it looks. It just looks kind of boring and random yeah, crates. Oh, Miranda got in the way. Yay, Miranda, in the line of fire. Oh, look at Jacob. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Standing on air. Yep. And apparently, I am glitching the game out already, so that's fun. Impressive. Good gun. Or, this you know, Jacob is just... I, I think he's technically standing on the stair or on the chair. Nope, no, he's not. No, he's not. Get off. I oh. think he's probably. Yeah, he's on the chair. He's just broken. The, the hitbox is messed up. Oh god. I died. Elmo time. I thought everything was dead. No. That's never a good assumption. Nope, it's not. Unless you're in a zombie apocalypse, in which case it is a very good assumption. But they're undead, so they're gonna kill you. So you still need to be careful. Yes. 
Okay, how far back did we go? Not very far. Probably. Uh, wait. Oh, all the way back here? Oh, gosh. That's stupid. Get to quick save. Yep. Headshots are so fun. I took care of those guys easily enough. Guess they just left the dead in the street. So what species are the blue suns guys? Mostly human, but they have I think they have some like Turians and stuff like that. Because I remember back when we were uh, before we uh, reset, they were hurling some uh, anti human abuse. You'd think that, you know, if they are human they wouldn't do that. If they're not yeah. human, why are they in the quarantine zone? Yeah. All the ones we've seen so far are human. I doubt he could have helped us anyway. Let's move. Why did that? Why was there a random PDA next to that battalion with two thousand credits? Th that's a decent amount. Oh, it's just an RPG. Don't pay attention. Oh, I missed this. The battalion was secretly a rich man. I don't know. Yeah, there's no point in in even mentioning something like that, really. Da da da. There we go. Let's see what's in here. Did I do this last time? Huh. No, I didn't. This is one Data of the pad. <laughs> so uh, he just died here sitting on his bed. Stuck. The blue suns locked him in and he just died. Yep. He wasn't even infected. Look at that. Yeah, that would suck. There's another one here somewhere that did get sick. We'll find that later. So Batarians weren't very common in uh, the first game because they kind of live on the edge. They're not part of council space. And they really don't like humans because uh, the humans have been kind of pushing them out of their territory in the Terminus system. Oh, I missed. <clears throat> Dang it, I missed again. <clears throat> oh, this one's a Batarian. Yeah, it really is a shame that Mass Effect is so shitty. Have a nice trip! I can, I've just been playing an awful lot of Hitman, and yeah. uh... Getting into the spirit of take, not fire the fire your gun. Oh. And I just haven't fired one. In, I think since the tutorial. And there's a Turian. Well, I was playing. Uh, let's see, what was I playing? I was playing Batman, so not much gun shooting in that. I mean, the thing is, you know, this Commander Shepard should have some responsible situation other than the But it's a it's a TPS, so no. I want my Carnifex. Hand cannon. Okay, I'm just sitting here shooting blue sun. This is not very interesting. The way they're popping up behind those barricades makes it look almost like a target gallery. Yep. Okay. They're all dead now. The music stopped. There we go. That's how you tell. Sound effects. So, uh, one thing that's weird about the whole new ammo thing is that, um, oh look. Anyways, um, when you get ammo, it adds ammo for everything, so the ammo is obviously, uh, interchangeable. This looks interesting. But you don't have a common pool, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, it would make more sense if you just had a pool of, uh, clips. And, um,. They worked for all your weapons, so you had like 20 thermal clips that you could split in between any of your weapons. But that wouldn't force you to change weapons. Which is why they didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, I just don't understand why they would do it that way. Is it that arduous to just, you know, have different kinds of ammo? Well, I don't know. Or they could even do it in uh, Left 4 Dead style, where there's just a big pile of ammo. Yeah, and then you just pick up 
whatever you need. Yeah. Well, it makes sense in universe that the thermal clips aren't interchangeable. It just doesn't make sense when you compare it to the gameplay. Oh look, purple stuff. It's like Romulan ale. I mean, it would make sense that they wouldn't be interchangeable if they weren't interchangeable. Yeah, I mean, you can look at them and it's like, oh, but yeah. And then when you pick it up, it replenishes them all. Ever since this plague started, the blue sun is out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Is what I hear right? That this plague doesn't affect humans? No, it seems like some kind of bioweapon or something. Since it affects so it seems like it would be species. really hard to make Blue something that affects humans Turians it. and humans they since they have completely sight. different God knows how um, many have already died. biological we makeups. Fortune, not us. Well, at the Ever same time, it would probably be hard to affect Turians and Salarians and Batarians. And not humans. At all. Anyways. Maybe you'd have to make... I need to find more to make souls. different plagues for oh, each species, yeah. then just release them all at once so people can call it one plague. The of the yeah, with the same symptoms. Yeah. You could yeah. do that. Trying to help plague It'd certainly be more plausible than protection from the suns and A the plague orchard. that affects people with sure. different amino acid Doctor bases. Military grade yes. mechs helping people for free on Omega Grow Up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. So we're hearing about Morden here. He's got he's a free clinic and he's trying to help people. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans, and they went to burn down the clinic. Well, if you've got Kill Fortune trying to muscle in on you, that seems like a pretty reasonable reaction. Yeah, she was coming. Must be Solarian special forces or something. Okay. I have to go. Yes, he is so here. cold for not getting killed by Vortia, Yeah. I guess. Well, he just murdered them without even thinking about it. Random wall well, they were credit. trying to kill him. Yeah. That's a good point. Okay, let's go find him. I want to talk to Morton. So I didn't have to go in there, just got some more information about Morden and some more credits. I get it's lost okay. in this area. All the time. Just corridors everywhere. It's not quite as bad as those prefab buildings from Mass Effect 1. Well yeah, but with those prefab buildings you never got lost because you knew exactly where you were. Ah, charge him up! Um, I think there was no particular way to tell whether you were in. I think you can even tell what building you're in, much less what room you're in. Yeah, you can could, you could tell what room you're in, but not what building you're in. That's that's what makes it weird. And here's Blood Pack. So we found another group of people. And his pistol is irritating. No, not the grenade launcher. I've got him. And who would actually tame a bunch of mercenaries the Blood Pack? I don't know. So there's these pyros somewhere. He's hiding behind the pillar, but he's 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 like a pyro from uh, TF2. Oh look, I see you there. He's not dead, and then his health is regenerating. So that's irritating, because Vork should do that. Even worse than Krogan. You chew through ammo so fast using a sniper rifle. Or at least using this one. Ten shots is not very many. It's still not bad for sniper Have rifles. A nice trip. I mean, uh, in most games, you get sniper rifles are a lot less. Okay, is there something I can overload over there? Taking fire. There's nothing going on right now except me shooting, stuff, which makes me feel really bored because there's almost always something going on in a lot of other games. Oh, that was the wrong button. Well, you'll find Warden eventually. Yep. Then there will be other things going on, although there won't be any less shooting stuff. Yep, that's true. Night, night. <coughs> Ready to die. Yeah, this is getting boring. Yeah, Charging. it is. It definitely is. Ow, Krogan. You'd think that tense combat would not be boring, and yet it does. Well, it's not really that tense. That's another problem. There's just so many dudes to shoot. And I'm out of ammo. And my sniper rifle's out of ammo. You know you have a problem when, you, when it's more of a problem of running out of ammo than dying. Perfect. 
Well, it depends on the game. I mean, like, if it's a survival horror game where you're supposed to be having ammo management, then that's an issue. Oh, a lot of older games had ammo management. Yeah. You could run out pretty easily and say, say, I don't know. I think the original Half-Life, I ran out of ammo on occasion. Yeah. Although well, on occasion, but when you're using a sniper rifle, up. it's... Yeah. You run out of ammo all the time. Quit hiding. Miranda died. Oh, that was a rocket. They're not really for eating. Nope. However much you might like to. I got it. Rapid fire pistol. Dead Krogan. Yeah. Machine gun pistol. I see you there. He's dead. No duh, Miranda. No, I, I think all of those vorches were just tourists. Yep, just tourists. 